Kunetanun. Thank you, Chairman, His Excellency, Secretary General, Honorable Ministers, distinguished guests. I'm very honored to come to this beautiful city of Dubai to attend the 20th ITU Plan Potentiary Conference on behalf of the Korean government. First of all, I'd like to express my gratitude to Secretary General Haolin Zhao and the officials of ITU for their hard work in organizing this event. I'd also like to thank Director General Hamad Obaid Al Mansuri of the Telecommunications Regulatory Authority and the United Arab Emirates government for their warm welcome and hospitality. 10 years have passed since smartphone first came out in 2007. Ever since then, they have become essential to our lives. We use them to watch movies on our way to work and communicate with families and friends. On social media, this small screen in our hands offers our, us a new way to connect with the whole world. But even as we speak, more than half of the world still remains unconnected, and this digital divide may worsen even further. With the changes brought by the fourth industrial revolution, the fourth industrial revolution is expected to transform how we work and how we live. It will bring new opportunities for growth and great convenience in life. But it may also cause major disruptions in the labor market and uneven access to digital technology. To address these issues and make sure that innovation is inclusive and beneficial, we need to expand digital infrastructures to guarantee easy and affordable access. In Korea, 99% of the households have internet access and 94% of the total population are online. But even with such high connectivity, we are continuously working to make sure all of our citizens can enjoy better, faster services to bridge the digital divide. We are building advanced ICT infra in remote areas and providing mobile devices to the elderly and the low-income groups. Korea is also leading the development of the next generation networks. In March next year, Korea will become the first country to commercialize 5G. We expect 5G to fuel the growth of IoT, autonomous vehicles, virtual reality, and other advanced technologies in the new era. Korea has also carried out various policies to cut telecommunications costs, such as cheap call plans that allow low-income people and the elderly to enjoy quality services. Honorable ministers, distinguished guests, at the 19th ITU Plenipotentiary Conference held in Busan four years ago, Korea with 14 other countries made the joint proposal for Connect 2020 agenda. And it was unanimously adopted as a new resolution. The goal of the resolution was for countries to work together to connect the whole world. And thanks to the effort of ITU and its members, we have been able to deliver meaningful results since then. 
national plans for infrastructure investment have more than tripled from 10 years ago. While broadband services have become cheaper and affordable to more people. For this year's plan potentially, Korea submitted a revised resolution expanding Connect 2020 to Connect 2030. We believe that with the cooperation of ITU and its members, more countries and more people, we'll be able to share the benefits of digital innovation. To contribute to the implementation of Connect 2030 and help ITU and its members to deliver fruitful results, Korea has presented its candidature for the ITU Council again this year. And in this context, I believe Dr. Jae Sob Lee, director of the TSB, has an important role to play. If Lee elected, I'm certain he will serve his next term for the development of not only TSB, but all of ITU. I'd like to take this opportunity to kindly ask for your support. Finally, I hope that the 2018 plan potentially will bear many fruitful results and deliver policies that promote the global development of ICTs and benefits all of mankind. 감사합니다.